All right, my name is Ryan, and we are here at our shop in Midland, Texas. We wanted to go over our T50 home style unit. Uh, just a couple of the main questions that we get. The number one question we get is, okay, I have my T50 and I'm making water. How is it that I collect the water and store it so that I can use it for my home use? So we want to show you that today and also show you what it looks like to change filters out. Now, there's really only three filters on this machine. There's an air filter, a carbon filter, and also a UV filter. So I'm gonna show you where those are, what they look like, and the ease of uh, changing them so that when your maintenance schedules come up, you know what to do, and you can also reference this video. So all of our doors on our T50, there's four doors. They're all push latch doors. So to disconnect them, just press this button and they come down just like this. The filter that you're going to change the most regularly, there's two of them, the carbon filter, which I'll show you in a second, and your air filter. You can get any of these air filters at a local hardware store. They simply just pull out and push back in, or if you want, you can unscrew the housing, take it off, put the filter in, and screw it back in. These are cuts of fit, so these filters come in bolts. Uh, like I said, at any hardware store you can find them, or you can reference us here at Tsunami and we can send you the exact brand that we use. So I'm gonna set this down. The next thing that you're going to change the most frequently, and this is really based on your environment. So if you're in a very dusty, dirty type environment, you'll probably change these more frequently than if you're in a very tropical, lush type environment. So this is your carbon spun filter. So these are very easy to change. There's a unlock and lock signal on the actual filter. So you're just going to turn it based on which direction the filter tells you to turn it. It's gonna pop down. The whole cartridge actually gets changed. So you'll throw that cartridge away. And then also you'll just take your new cartridge, put it in, screw it in, and then you're done. The other thing that you have to change is your UV filter. So we actually have a new style UV filter that we just came out with. This is our older model, but the same concept applies. What it is here to do is kill any bacteria that might be in the water that's going to your external tank. So these, the new ones will be changed about every three to four years. And if you'll just contact Tsunami Products, we'll send you out a new one. Very easy to swap out and keep your water clean. So one thing you may be wondering is how do you actually connect this to the tank? So it's as simple as having a drill, a drill bit, a quarter inch push connect OD fitting and quarter inch polyurethane tubing. So what happens is you drill the bit, you take the fitting, apply Teflon tape to help mitigate for any type of leakage or anything like that. Simply screw it in until it's a tight fit and then you insert the tubing and you're done. So from there, the water goes into the tank, the tank gets full, and from there you can dispense it however you like. Okay, so the next thing, now that we know what the standard maintenance procedures are, as I said, the biggest question that we get is how do you get water from the T50 into a holding tank? Thankfully, it's a very simple process. So on your machine, you're gonna have a labeled component that says water out. So this is what we call a push to connect fitting, meaning that to get it in and out, you simply push in or you push in and pull out. Very, very simple. And those are utilized on both the machine and the actual tank. So as I said, you just push in and the tubing comes out. When you insert the tubing, make sure that it goes in very, very, push very firm. You're not gonna hurt it, break it, and then do a slight tug to make sure that it's actually in place. The same goes for the external tank. I simply pushed in the piece, pulled out the tubing to reinsert it, push it in as hard as you can, and then do a slight tug to make sure that it's in. That's simply all that you're gonna do. So what's gonna happen is when the machine internal tank gets full, there's gonna be a float that gets tripped on the machine. When that float trips, what that signals is for the pump inside the machine to start dispensing water to this tank. When that happens, there's nothing that you need to do except sit back and watch. The machine knows how to dispense, how much water to dispense, and the pressure that it needs to get to the actual holding tank. So another thing you may be wondering is, okay, I have water in my tank, how do I get it out? Well, there's a couple different things. A lot of people for home style 
units like the T50 with the smaller holding tank, this one's 35 gallons, will actually insert a ball valve on the end of the tank where there is a plug a drain. And you can insert that and you can simply just turn the ball valve and get water out. The other solution you can do is add the same type of tubing on the other side of the tank with a small RV transfer pump that will pump the water to your end destination. That may be a water dispenser from your house, an RO spigot on your sink. It's really up to you. Very simple. And us here at Sonoma Products can help you uh, go through that process whenever it's time to do that.